Welcome everyone to another episode of Dino Times. I'm your host Dakota Morgan coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. Today we're going to be talking about an animal who's been recently featured in Jurassic World Rebirth via all the, as of this recording, via the toys, Legos, and all and such like that. It has been a little bit revealed, majority through Lego. And guess what folks, we're going to be talking about that specific dinosaur, aka the Aquilops. This little guy belonged in the Ceratopsian family, which is why it has that little beak and somewhat of a frill on its skull. They strive all the way from early Cretaceous in North America. And I, before I go any further, I should say, we don't know much about Aquilops, so you're going to get into that here. Type species is, of course, Aquilops americanus, and that's named after because it was, or named after the spot it was found in, the United States of America. <laughs> Sometimes paleontology gets creative with the names, sometimes we don't. The holotype is possibly not fully grown. There is some estimations that do put it as possibly being younger and still had a bit more growing to go. But not by much. It still was a very small animal. The skull itself that was found was 84.2 millimeters long. That ain't that long. The body possibly around 60 centimeters in length and about 1.5 kilograms in weight. So again, a very small creature. And we're seeing that in the new media featuring this animal in Jurassic World Rebirth because it's been, as we've seen in Legos, it's all small, handheld, and tra it's a traveling buddy of the people in the movie, apparently, which I will be very curious to see this animal fully rendered. Now it is unique because it actually, well, other than its size, it is unique with the downward curved bone core of the snout, beak, and rostral, which it has that just very, as you've seen in the video, a very interesting shape to the skull. Now the skull opening and the antorbial frista are twice as long as it is tall, making it a pretty big opening there in the skull. This was found relatively recently in 1997 by paleontologist Scott Masden, but the type species wasn't named until 2014 by Andrew Fark, W. Desmond Maxwell, Richard L. Sifili, and Matt J. And that's all we know so far about Aquilops. <laughs> and if you guys enjoyed this little, what is this animal? Clearly we know it's gonna be herbivore, but with the beak and such being in the Ceratopsian family as well, we do know that maybe it ate some little bugs as well, so it could be an omnivore. We don't know until we find more of the species. But if you enjoyed this and want to stay in touch with all things paleontology, Jurassic and such as well, be sure to follow Dino Times here on the channel by subscribing. And of course, I'm on social media and catch me on X, Instagram, and Twitch. Follow the links in the description down below. And of course, just leave a like, folks, and comment down below some things you think are interesting about it. And are you excited to actually see it in the movie? I fucking am. I never heard of this dinosaur until Rebirth, which is what we love to see. Thanks, everybody. And as always, remember, science is real.